to my sleepy channel, my friend. shoot we're shooting for a Gymshark campaign and I, I was actually here last weekend for Whitney's collection launch with Gymshark so that was amazing but I love shoot days because they actually do my makeup and I never do my makeup like I have eyeshadow on I never have eyeshadow on anyways this video I kind of got inspired by it because I kind of was thinking about fitness and I was thinking about how I got myself into this position where I basically just work with one brand I just work with Gymshark and it got me thinking about how my health and happiness was affected by chasing fitness in the way that it was portrayed by publications, companies and influencers. And I realised from my personal experience that what I was being sold and what I was being told didn't have that much of a positive impact on my physical or my mental health. Actually it took me further away from where I wanted to be. So that's kind of what I wanted to address in this video. I'll show you some stuff behind the scenes. I don't know if I can show you actually on set because I got told off the other day, but it's okay. I'll see what I can get away with. I'm sorry. I, I photoshopped my face on a girl's head and I had about four or five replies going, that's the test. <laughs> that's what I'm well, you guys actually look alike. I can see it a little bit. Yeah. A little bit, right? Me and Zach are brother and sister, but so separated at birth. Sorry. Yeah. And Javier yeah. Bardem's our dad. That, that, that. No way is it a dad. You got all these jeans in, not me. I also think we have the same body. Yeah, I'm a little bit bigger. Yeah. Before we get into this video and all of the topics around this video that I wanted to address, I'm not accusing every company, every publication, every influencer of misleading or misinforming me. The only thing is, as the industry, the fitness industry continues to grow, I continue to see things that misled me in the first place from really taking care of my health and really being fit. And that's what I wanted to address. So I'm not saying it's everyone or across the board, I'm just saying that I continue to see these things. So I just want you guys to watch out for it because there was a time where I wasn't self-aware and I was very easily influenced and I just, I wish I had this kind of voice so that I could just have been a little bit more prepared. You, you do know that you're just wasting footage. Absolutely not. It'd be funny. Okay. Jack has a lot of belief in me and I appreciate that. So much that. belief. Thank you, Jack. All right, you guys, am I introing it? Yes, you Oh, are, I thought yeah. you were introing it. You're introing it. All right. I'm going to take you through the Is it? No, it's not. I'm going to take you through the campaign. So let's just have a look behind the scenes, shall we? Let's see if anyone's getting up to any mischievous things. my vlogging camera so what you can see there that big contraption that's what I vlog with on a daily basis that's great that's my stuff down there obviously I haven't got the memo about putting your stuff away in there there's a kitchen with the most amazing snacks they've got some mango in there it is sweet but it's not hairy and it's kind of rubbery and not too juicy that's the perfect mango, am I right? No. And that's it. That's pretty much it. I think I've shown you around. Yeah. I went on for too long, didn't I? Najazi was awake when you started this. That's how long you've been going. 11.30, right? I don't actually know what times I'm shooting, so I just, I hear my name and I respond. The first thing I wanted to talk about was how I felt like it was all very superficial. Um, and what I mean by that is when I was following people, I just felt like it was very aesthetics focused rather than focusing or having a huge, if any, emphasis on physical capabilities. And that meant that I reduced my sense of self-worth to how I looked. And that kept putting like constant pressure on things because my failure was so visible. It was visible for everyone to see. And because there was a constant pressure, I just felt the constant need to rush things. And I don't know about you guys, when I rush things, that's when mistakes happen, that's when, behavior patterns 
that aren't that healthy started to kick in so I would eat less and the sad thing is like as I got closer to that goal like I didn't feel any more fulfilled because I wasn't doing anything based on any skill that I was developing or I wasn't like performing any better it was like a yeah so what like I guess I could do more there was never like a check you out no there was never any of that so I guess that was the sad part for me, the fitness industry that I want to be a part of it is one that puts mental and physical health first. Like those are the priority and I think it's very easy to get caught up in what we stereotypically think is like a fit body but that doesn't mean that that person is necessarily healthy and in many cases like that is the case. Like when I looked my most fit I was not my most healthy mentally or physically so yeah I think the industry I want to be a part of and I'm trying to be a part of is one way people feel good they feel capable they feel like they can live forever and do a planche until they're 92 like how women's still going is that not just the most impressive thing in the world I just hats off I wish I had a hat is there a hat in here there's no hat but I would tip my hat to her right now being able to do something that you couldn't do before is a feeling that you will never forget. Like, you feel ecstatic. And that's what I want to be a part of. That's the fitness industry that I want to be a part of. Oh, are you guys listening to me? No. No, I've got my head though when you're done. Yeah? Okay. I'm ready to film that whenever if you want. I'm ready to do it. Okay, I'm going to film a hit workout with Wit. So we're going to do it outside. We've never done a workout together, so it's going to be fun. We'll catch up in a sec. Yes, Ajazi! Work it. Okay, it's my turn. Get it, get it, get it. Hey. How'd it go? I think okay. Yeah? Yeah, the standing ones I always feel the most awkward in. So we've just finished shooting with stills. Now I've got a video shot with the funky arm that I showed earlier when I was giving the tour and then hopefully we'll have time to film that hit workout with Whitney so if you haven't seen my Instagram go watch my Instagram please that will be up if it's not already up it'll be up very soon we're gonna incorporate both of our moves and merge it to get the ultimate hit section it's really sad when the whole set starts to come down around you. But I just get attached to everything. I just got back into my hotel room. So that was the last day of the shoot. I'm gonna go to the gym in a little bit actually. Really, really wanna get my box split. So I'm really, really working on it. But one thing I wanted to talk about whilst I was here, another thing that damaged my health was as a young and impressionable and extremely gullible girl, I believed in everything that I saw. So I believed in so many products and techniques that pretended to have scientific backing. Teas, sweet sweat, supplements. Not all supplements, but some supplements. Lollipops, fat loss, appetite suppressant, etc, etc. And I thought they were regulated and approved and I believed in transformation photos. And transformation pics aren't scientific, they're not rigorous. And it's the same with meaningless products. Like, I felt like I was made to believe that there was something I was missing. Just something that I was missing that I could just buy and that would be the secret. The secret that no one else knew unless they bought this product. They just distracted me. They distracted me because they made me feel like I didn't have everything I needed to be healthy in front of me. And I always had that in front of me. I had access to a gym. I had access to the outdoors. And I also had access to a balanced and varied diet just by going to my supermarket. And I stopped believing for a while that I had everything to take control of my health. The internet's given a voice to so many people. When it comes to personality and entertainment, like that's absolutely amazing. But when it comes to being technical, and when we're coming to learning about nutrition and training from people who aren't technical and who don't have an understanding in science, like that's where I think it's dangerous. And you guys, I've, I'm lucky. I'm in a position where I get to train with people who have a huge brand behind them and I get to see how really fit they are. And I'm telling you, I've seen people get injured doing a really light warm up. When you train on techniques that aren't grounded in sports science, you're at the risk of overtraining and potentially because of that injury or just injury on its own. And then it's compounded 
when it comes to nutrition because some people also dish out nutrition advice when they don't understand nutrition. So you guys wouldn't believe the amount of DMs that I get from people saying that they've been put on 1,500 calories and they're training six days a week, intense training, that's not okay. And I think some people just wanna get results out of you quick because it's all very appearance and aesthetics focused and there's no consideration of health and I don't think they understand that. And it breaks my heart because that's, that's what got me into my position. I wasted three years of my life battling with myself and it makes me really upset because I wasn't building myself to be any stronger. I was just getting weaker and weaker and I just damaged my health so much. And my mental health. I didn't like who I was. And like I said before, like I put all, all of my self-worth was based on how I looked. And when I see people putting young girls and women and men as well on extremely low calorie diets, it's, it's just devastating, to be honest. And there are so many implications to that. It's so detrimental to your health in the long run. In many ways that influencers and businesses and publications, they don't even begin to understand. And I think that's not the fitness industry that I want to be part of. I never in my life wear dressing gowns, but it has my name on it. I'm gonna take this eyeshadow off, say goodbye to it for another year. Now you know it's gonna be a vibe in here. It's half nine. I feel very zen, you know? The thing is, I love Mario, don't get me wrong, I love him. Great guy. But the thing is, like, I just really like a lot of space in my bed. I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. I'm gonna be up like a spring chicken, okay? Remember these words? Oh. It's probably gonna be a big challenge. Yeah. recommended me this place so I'm gonna check out the menu. Always gotta check out the menu. There's a market on today as if I need another excuse to spend more money. to Venice. Oh man, the waves look so good today. Oh, I've got serious, serious FOMO. Honestly, if I lived here, I'd be a surfer. You know what, I might even join in with some basketball. Wow, the girls are killing it. I always find it so inspiring when I watch like athletes do their thing. I'm back home and I am wildly jet lagged, I'm not gonna lie. I guess to summarize this whole thing, all I'm saying is that health isn't necessarily included in the way we use the word fitness a lot of the time nowadays. So for me, health embodies staying away from physical and mental illness and being healthy socially as well, and for the long term. And it's grounded in biology and science. I feel like a lot of companies and publications and influencers can get caught up and forget that fitness should be contributing to your health, or at the very least not harming it in the pursuit of the perfect physique. Having said that though, there is a lot of good 
and there are people that I hugely respect in the industry and a lot of people know their limits on what they should and shouldn't say. So for example there are definitely topics that I don't talk about and in some cases I will bring a dietitian in just to clarify things up. It just makes me feel more comfortable in delivering that message. So coming back to answering that question that I asked myself right at the beginning of this video, why do I only work with one company in the fitness industry. When I try and hold companies accountable for something that they're putting out, they immediately feel very uncomfortable with the situation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it can help you be a little bit more aware about who is influencing you in certain areas, especially in technical topics. But yeah, please give me a big thumbs up if you like this video, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos, hit the little notification thingy, bell, I'm not jet lagged. I'm not jet lagged, I'm fine. Anyway you guys, I love you. See you very soon. Bye.